Here's tonight's 9 at 9. Here at home, a 14 year old boy is recovering from severe stab wounds after a fight between several students yesterday. The boy was stabbed during a fight at the Shirts Playscape. The teen's mom says he was stabbed in the leg, shoulder, and stomach. He got stitches. He had emergency surgery. They had to uh, go in and uh, sew his small intestine, uh, I guess, back together. Shirts police have found the juvenile. They say stabbed the boy and say aggravated assault charges have been filed. The Massachusetts woman who encouraged her boyfriend to kill himself through text messages has been released from prison. Michelle Carter served 11 months of her 15 month sentence. She was sent home early due to good behavior. Carter was convicted of involuntary manslaughter in 2017 when she was 17 years old. A former San Antonio ISD and Hondo ISD teacher arrested on charges of sex assault of a child and improper relationship with a student. An underage girl says she had a sexual relationship with Jose Eduardo Hernandez for eight months while he taught at Linear High School. At the end of the 2019 school year, Hernandez left SAISD. He started at Hondo ISD in August, but is no longer employed there. In New Jersey, two teens die after falling through frozen ponds in separate incidents. Yesterday, a 15-year-old fell through a frozen pond while skating with friends. He died at the hospital. A little while later, three teenagers fell through the ice at another pond. A 13-year-old died in that incident. More sad news out of Australia. These wildfires have been raging for weeks, but now they've claimed the lives of Americans in Australia to help. Three US firefighters on board a C-130 air tanker have been killed as their plane went down in what's been described as a fireball. Longtime PBS NewsHour anchor Jim Lehrer has died at the age of 85. PBS said in a statement that he died peacefully in his sleep at home. Lara founded the NewsHour television program in 1975 and anchored it for 36 years. He also moderated 12 presidential debates. PBS says that's more than any other person in U.S. history. The doomsday clock has moved ahead 20 seconds and now reads 100 seconds to midnight. The clock is a symbolic countdown to global disaster controlled by scientists who evaluate several key factors. Those scientists cite existential danger from nuclear war and climate change as reasons for adjusting the clock. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can now get free grocery delivery service for orders of at least $35. Previously, the Amazon Fresh service was $14.99 a month. The world's worst cat apparently lives in North Carolina and an animal shelter is working to find her a forever home. The shelter posted a picture of the cat named Perdita with the label World's Worst Cat. Perdita is described as liking jump scares and lurking. She also doesn't like kittens, dogs, or children. To read more about these nine stories, head to ksat.com.